this morning, 17th of June 2020, met to continue consultations with respect to the impasse over the allocation of the estates. And I'm happy to announce that following today's round of discussions, and which comes in the wake of an earlier meeting that was conducted on Saturday, the 14th of June, 2020, His Excellency the President and the First Vice President have now agreed that the estates of the Republic of South Sudan shall be allocated among the parties, signatories to the ARCIS as follows. The former Interim Transitional, Transitional Government of National Unity shall nominate the governor for each of the following six states. Northern Bahar al-Ghazal, Warab, Lakes, Eastern Equatoria, Central Equatoria, and Unity State. The SPLM IO shall nominate the governor for each of the following three states, Western Bahar al-Ghazal, Western Equatoria, and Upper Nile. The South Sudan Opposition Alliance, SOA, shall nominate the governor for Jonglei. Matters pertaining to the composition of the executive and the legislative branches of government in the state shall be discussed and agreed to at a later date. With this development, a fresh impetus has been given to the process for the implementation of the agreement. And as I alluded to earlier, other issues related to power sharing will be discussed and finalized so that the, three, the two key branches of government, the executive and the legislature, uh, in the government of the Republic of South Sudan, will have been decided and finalized. This is briefly the announcement that I wish to make uh, this morning. And we are very hopeful that with this development, the road is now paved to further positive developments that we hope will be carried out expeditiously, such so that time that has been lost, uh, we are able to recover it because the clock is already ticking in terms of implementation of the agreement uh, and the move of the country uh, through the transitional period towards the end of the transitional period in three years' time. Now, after this agreement, obviously, uh, within the next few days, uh, consultations shall be conducted by the stakeholders uh, to agree on the nomination of the governors as per the states that have been allocated to each and every party. So it won't, it won't take long. It will be uh, done swiftly and hopefully very soon we'll be able to announce the name of the governors for the uh, respective states. Uh, as for your question relating to why it took so long, uh, it was not easy. Uh, a lot of agreement had been reached earlier on with respect to most of the states uh, that have been allocated today, uh, but the stumbling block to final agreement was the state of Upper Nile. Um, uh, it, was, it was discussed at length. Uh, the SPLMIO felt that that state should be allocated to it. Um, and finally, uh, the President agreed that uh, in the interests of progress and swift movement that the state of Upper Nile should indeed go to the SPLMIO uh, in accordance with their, with their request. But that was really the, the main uh, uh, stumbling block. Well, I think after today, things should move pretty fast. And uh, the parliament, I, I don't expect any uh, serious holdups to the process of uh, uh, constituting the 550 member transitional national uh, legislative assembly. That, that should move pretty fast because uh, all the parties probably have their nominations ready. It's just a question of uh, submitting them to the, uh, uh, to the executive authority to take action. No, it was not discussed in today's meeting because that's a pretty uh, routine administrative issue that will be addressed in due course. It will not arise in their conversation. Thank you.